Hi everyone, I'm going to solve 3.6 example 9. In the circuit below, assume that the resistors obey its own law, then and that all wires have zero resistance and also all batteries are ideal. This means that the internal resistance of all batteries is zero and the internal resistance of each wire is zero. They want us to find the current through the 5 ohm resistance. Also, they want us to find the voltage drop across the 5 ohm resistor. Now, um, the way that I solve this question is to, is to combine, by combining the, the resistors and also by using some loop rules. If I look at the 4 ohm and the 12 ohm resistors, I see that they are in parallel. So I can combine those two resistors. So I can write 1 over R mid, R middle equals 1 over 4 plus 1 over 12. If I do that, make a common denominator and then flip the result, R in the middle would be equal to 3 ohm. What you need to do next is to draw our middle instead of the 4 ohm and the 12 ohm resistor. So I have the 24 ohm resistor at the top, then now I have the R mid, which is 3 ohm, so I can just sub 3 ohm in here, and then I have the 5 ohm resistor. I have two batteries here the 3 volt batteries as shown and I have a 3 ohm resistor here and I have a 12 volt battery to the left. Now um, if I draw the current coming out of the 12 battery and label it as I, this I will be broken into two parts. I3 and I2. Because the 3 ohm resistor and the 5 ohm resistor are in series, that means that I2 will be going through 3 ohm resistor and also the 5 ohm resistor because the current is the same um, going through the series resistor. So, so if I can find I2, if I find I2, the problem is solved because I have the current going through the 5 ohm resistor. Now, what I could do though, I could combine the 3 ohm and a 5 ohm resistor by using the series rule. So I could say R equals 3 plus a 5, and that is equal to Eight. Now you could draw your circuit again, a simplified version of it. You could combine, you have combined the, the, the 3 and the 5 ohm resistor. So therefore you could, instead of the two resistor, you could just draw one resistor and it's an 8 ohm, it's an 8 ohm resistor. I have two batteries here, the 3 volt battery, and I have the 12 volt batteries. Twelve volt here and three volt here. Now I can combine I can combine the 24 ohm resistor with the 8 ohm resistor. So they are in parallel, so you could just write 1 over R equivalent equals 1 over 24 plus 1 over 8. Make a common denominator, flip it over, R equivalent should be equal to 6 ohm. Simplify your circuit again, and that would be a 6 ohm resistor with two batteries in here and a 3 ohm resistor here in the bottom. So 6, I have 3 volt and a 12 volt. Now what I could do, I could use a loop rule in order to calculate the current. 
remembering the current that is coming out of the 12 volt battery is I. So if I pick a loop A, and if I go clockwise, so this is loop A, and if I go clockwise, then I can find current I. So you could start from, let's say this green point that I do here, and then you go around the loop, you add up the voltages and set them equal to zero. If I start from the green point and go clockwise, I reach the 12 volt battery um, with the negative pole first. Yeah, I would reach the negative pole of a 12 volt battery first, so I'm gonna use plus a 12. Then moving in the direction of the current, I would reach the six ohm resistor. Then I will write six minus six I. Then moving, moving um, around this loop, I would reach the positive pole of the second battery first, the three volt battery first, so I'm gonna use minus the three. Then moving in the direction of the current, reaching the three ohm resistor, then I'm gonna use minus three I equals zero. Well, if you isolate your equation for I, I equals one amp. Now, what we could do, we could go up and use another loop. So I'm gonna draw um, another loop in here and I'm gonna call it loop B. Now, remembering that this is I, and this is I2. Now, if I go around loop B, so writing here, I had loop A, and I'm gonna write loop B in here. So if, if I uh, add up the voltages in loop, in loop B, um, again, I, I could start from the green point, then I will have, I will have a positive 12, yeah, reaching the negative pole first, moving, moving. Now I reached the eight ohm, eight ohm um, resistor. So I'm gonna write minus eight I two, then moving down, moving down, and then I would reach the three volt battery, but the positive pole first. So I'm gonna write minus a three. Then I have the minus, because I reached the, I am moving in the direction of the current I, and I reached the three ohm battery. So I'm gonna write minus three I equal zero. We know I. Now it is one amp, so I can write 12 minus eight I two minus a three minus a three equals zero. If you isolate this equation for I two, that would be equal to 0 0.75 amp. Having I two, then then if you look at if you look at this this circuit, now you see that it's the same current that's actually going through uh, resistor five, um, five ohm. Now, if you have I2, then you could calculate the voltage across I, I, we can call it the five ohm resistor. So therefore the voltage across would be V equals R times the I2, R is five, and I2 is 0 0.5, and then you will get V to be equal to 3.75 volt. And we found the answer.